come to a fucking body shot. For you. But, uh, uh, wait, so why is he already? Who, who the fuck? Get out of slot. No, we we don't do slotting like that. Don't Gunner. slot yet, please. Gunner accidentally uh, selected your name. Ah. So if you can leave and rejoin the server real quick, I will wait till you get back till I start slotting. Sorry about that. I had to tab out to start stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, GG Gunner. Yes. Um, you can you leave and rejoin the server real quick? Accidentally, or it might have been guess. Sure. I would say both of yeah, you. Right. Just leave and rejoin because I already Gunner. forgot. Fuck it, everyone. It, Probably it, also fix your name. Nice. Look, I can still grant them out. Okay. Yeah. Then you're fine. Uh, so when Gunner reconnects, I will start slotting. Hey, Theta. Yeah, sorry I couldn't message back. I'm just balancing all this stuff out. Is that Coca-Cola jars? <laughs> yes, a Coca-Cola for you. Each. All right, how we're going to do this when Gunner gets back is we're going to do ground command team and then the squads. Technically, we don't need a ground command today. It just means all the squads have to work together. But knowing your track record, I'd be much happier if you had a ground command. What's the record like? Now, if you're uh, just jumping in right now, uh, Frisk is giving out the IP. So just look in the channel and join the server. Giving is, free handouts. Yeah. Is there an yeah. LAV to your ink? What? Where? Is there it's an LAV? It's it it said in the announcement only. infantry only. Yeah. Where's my Abrams? Oh. Okay. Where's my FAT? Where's my FAT? Free Abrams. Free. Free. Uh, Gunner, what's your ETA to get back out on the server? Three minutes. Th three minutes. What? 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 All right, let's three do minutes. Minutes. Okay, all right, two minutes. You didn't have what did to you close armor? Did you close whole of armor? It it, it shut down by itself. Ah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, this will give like, the guys still in the other process a few minutes to get on, as well as the five of you that are missing from the server. Beautiful. I don't know, but why not? I don't know the issues for me. See, I'm I'm not, I'm entering the password incorrectly. It just pissed me off. Then, copy the and last paste the four numbers are the port. Are you using a password? Uh... Is what he said. Not IP. Not port. Password. Well, you can just type Did it you... on in. All right, it's quiet time. Everyone, shut up. My God. Oh my god, <laughs> these chuckleheads. Gunner, I'm giving you one more minute, then I have to start slotting regardless, and I do apologize about that. Connecting. Okay. Next. All right, it is 3.45. I'm going to start with slotting. Can I get a ground command, please? Cool. Do you want a 2IC, Mac Marine? No. Okay. Do you want a platoon medic? No. What, um... No platoon medic? Well, we have a live service. They act the same, don't do they? Uh, no, does the medic have anything else? It's just take it. It's just take it. It's got to have more Spare medic. Spare Yeah. All right, I'm can sure. I get a squad leader for... Okay, cool. Can I get alpha filled? Can I get a squad leader for Bravo? Can I get Bravo filled? Can I get a squad leader for Charlie? Oh, my mic must have crapped out. Can I get a squad leader for Charlie? Can I get Charlie filled? The light is lighting up, but we're not hearing anything. I guess not. All right, and then the rest of the people can funnel into Charlie. Cool. Let me push us the map. You mean Denmark? Damn, that's a really long name. Damn, I don't speak. Sp <sighs> What's my uh, freedom? You are going to Brazil. Mario, I got the little mountains. 
I'm gonna wait till I see most of the hourglass is gone so you all can see the map and I'll go over what's going on today. So, uh, like I said, this is uh, the start of a new campaign. I already went over uh, the features about it. So, you're gonna be spawning at this fob up here, Echo 02. And you're just gonna be chilling at the fob. Uh, nothing bad's gonna happen. Feel free to explore the fob. Feel free to look at what's where. There's medical boxes, ammo boxes. Triple A guns, some static MG 42s. Feel free to fortify it however you wish, and you should be good. Again, there's a radar station, I think, up here, like 200 meters south. Don't go up to that one. Uh, your base CO told you not to do that. And if you need to get in contact with someone uh, higher than uh, your commanding officers, that would be 5 0 to me. And uh, yeah, there's some other friendly positions here. I'm sure today will be a okay. Uh, command, any questions? Nah. All right. Um, just gonna wait on Clad's hourglass. Uh, I'll wait up to one minute, and then I'll push you guys through. And again, feel free to explore. But, oh, I just uh... have a black screen for me. Uh, that sounds probably... like user error. Just open yeah. your eyes. So we try. To... <laughs> okay, no, no, no. Let's let's actually. So who has the black screen? Oh, Lord. What's your role? Rifleman yes. and alpha. Do I have another rifleman slot that has a black screen? No. Oh, but did you download the mod set? Or is it yes, the I have the mod set, or so I wouldn't be able to play on the okay. server. Okay, okay. So a cable. Mm, Wait. Maybe that one slot doesn't have a map. Like, that might be it. The thing is, I have the black screen, but I can see my fucking the armor like arrow or yeah, whatever, so and it moves around. You don't have a map. Have a map. <laughs> okay. Well, let me ask just one thing. Uh, did you download uh, the Argentina I, mod set or the Nalum? Look, we'll we'll figure it out when we push through. So, um, Chris, can you put the server IP shit down one more time because two more people jumped in while we were doing that, and again they can hey. funnel in. Is the port the password, or am I just dumb as fuck? Uh, you're, yes, dumb as you're dumb as fuck. Oh, I had both. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. All right, well, feel free to explore the base, guys. Uh, yeah. Uh, also, pay no attention to the flag to the east if you want an idea of who you are. Can Chaos get a pack? Uh, yeah, I guess. They're late, that sucks for them. Oh, is that option still on? I bet it was. Uh, let's see, medical, medical, no, no, that would be uh, T far. Go away from people spawning. Yeah, probably a good idea. Also, there's ammo in the uh, truck. So yes, it is. Damn it. All right, I gotta turn Please that off for the next mission because that's truck. a pain in the butt. I'm not. We might need a truck. I'm on both trucks. Uh, technically they'd be SS. Uh, tell you guys to remove your magazines because fuck me. If we if we were to track the Argentine the groups that would have left for Argentina, technically it'd be SS. As you can go. I found a thing. Alright, so here's the radar thing. Uh, let's see. This is Bravo 50. This is high on 5 0. Good check. That's for later. Let me go over here. Start grabbing some of the Soviet kits. I want to keep this mainly for riflemen. But yeah, uh, op itself is going to be pretty simple. It's going to be a base defense and then a counterattack uh, where they find where the Soviets are landing and take them out. Uh, but for the first 30 minutes, give or take, I'm going to be uh, attacking them. So the clicking you're hearing is because I accidentally left enable object uh, terrain coefficient on, which is uh, the clicks are just the radios bouncing off of the uh, local furniture whenever you hear them. So I do apologize for that, and hopefully it'll be uh, dealt with later. I'll de deal with it by the next mission. I'm just letting a few people, giving them a few minutes to explore the base, reconnect everything. But we have a medical uh, box right there. We have an AA piece right there. 
But yeah, all that buzzing and stuff is uh, terrain coefficient stuff. So more ammunition, more medical boxes. We had some static MG42s, which they're already uh, they actually got the flag moving everything around. And then we've got two more ammo boxes yeah. there, another ammo box I, there. I like it. This is a radar to um, when no the T4. So fun fact, if you guys look straight north up the ridge and straight south, you will see two more windmills of power, quote unquote. It's our symbol. <laughs> the windmill of friendship and freedom? Yes, that's it. Right. Friendship and freedom. What makes it friendship and freedom? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, so fun fact about this base, if I were to go to another base, for example, uh, this map was built in a 2035 style. So I had to heavily remake everything. There should be another base up here that I can show off an example. You know, I can just go to the air base where my debug corner is. So it's all 2035 props. Uh, and then, you know, stuff from, like, you know, modern day. Uh, I decided to keep the solar panels, though. There's going to be a reason for that. Uh, okay, we are... I don't so know I replay made uh, a lot of stuff just, there. just uh, patrolling, defending the base. Yeah, just... Uh... I would recommend mounting shit. You got a good spot for uh, So first attack is gonna be uh, just in Make waves. I'm gonna use three man squads, but let me also set up the uh, global AI skill here. I have one person that stays, stays with Scully, probably you, Chavo, and the. Uh... Yeah, I'll it. Yeah, and the other people go red. Who do you want me to what? Go red. Okay. Cool. Whew. Alpha, what uh, sector are you taking? I don't know. Okay, Alpha, can you guys uh, get you guys up back from the southeast then? Uh, we're taking that area. 5 0 check. Hi, it's a dog. Don't go uh, southeast. We have an explosion south. We might want to call that up. I really want to see what you say. No, Fuck, just blew something up again. Sure so, this is my. I was on one of their short ranges, that's why we were hearing all that, the so... the fuck did you guys blow up? Why'd you blow up the radar? How did you blow up the radar? Th that wasn't us. <laughs> oh, crikey! Oh, and it's attacking us! <laughs> Sounds good, Neko, thank what you. Alpha squad. I don't think I'll be on, uh... Probably you got the, the server until, like, the late night time. tonight, but... Charlie Z, stay firm. Try my best, but yeah, that's to blow up the radar. Now we're getting everything in here for waves. Monsieur. Interesting. He is under attack. Desync. Top K. Yeah, desync. What the fuck? Did blowing up the radar tower cause that, or is that just an actual desync spike? Hmm. Well, that's a shame. Why is nailed it tied up? Do I even want to know? Yeah, we'll see if that happens again. This is high across the board. Be advised, it looks like we're having some sort of insurrection across multiple fire bases. I will keep you all informed. Over. Firebase Echo O2, what is your state? Is that this time over? We are currently under attack from multiple directions. They destroyed the radar. A firm, uh, what are you under attack by? Over. 
unknown men in uniforms. Roger, continue to hold out. We will try to send support up to you when we get a window to do so. Over. Yeah, what was my floor? Oh my god. So we're just gonna do some wave defenses here and there, only sending about, you know, nine to 15 men at a time based off of angles and whatnot. But yeah, no, they're using some of the uh, static MGs here. Here, let me get a pair of MI2s to start harassing them as well. Let's see. I gotta remember which one is uh, the good one. That might be able, there's a lot of fighters currently on the northwest hill. Yeah, that's Apers. I don't want to do that. I just want a simple MG. Yeah, that'll work. All right. But yeah, I gave a mayor defense for a reason, you know? Right off Thanks for dropping by. Why are all these guys falling back? And they just made something fall through that might have been a spider hole they're trying to dig up. I still don't understand why Nailed It is uh, cable tied there, but I guess I never will. Oh, ho, ho, that would have been bad. That was the wrong thing to copy paste, and I gotta hope those things fly over the ridge properly. But here, we're gonna get some AKs in as well, Probably at least for larger teams. Out the big guns. There we go. But yeah, uh, I've got a master file with a bunch of templated stuff all saved up. And we're pulling from those accordingly. Oh, it's the Russians. They're from Germany. Hey, guys, two times MIT stuff, why engaging? I think one's going down, yep. Okay, I'm going to prematurely spawn something over here. Bring that around, and there goes that one. So now I'm moving up from just the SKS guys to a few AKs as well. But this is the first military base from the airstrip, so this is going to get, like, the full brunt of the attack. If you notice, there's at least, like, you know, 12 MI2s there to facilitate the transporting of forces here. Yeah, so we got some dead bodies in the air from shots that were done overhead. All stations on this net that are part of Echo O2, be advised, break. We are trying to prepare a convoy to send up to relieve you guys uh, so we can also prep a counterattack break. Uh, we are still trying to determine where the hostiles are originating from at this time, so continue to head uh, break. Continue to hold your position at this time. I'll give you an ETA on the convoy as soon as I have it fully organized. Over. I'll copy that one you are. Uh, be aware, we've just encountered two Russian or Eastern-made helicopters. Confirm, two Eastern-made helicopters. We'll keep guys on AA guns at this time. Good luck. Out. Yep. 
the hell? <laughs> we got dudes in the mess hall just chilling. Well, there's a giant fire fight going on. Ah, welcome to TSP, these chuckleheads. All right, we're gonna start ranging in some uh, fire support here because I do have two mortars uh, set up. They're only, uh, I think they're 82, but I'm gonna use 60 mil instead. Ah, no, we'll use 82, it's easier. Try to space them out to show that it's uh, you know uh, one yeah. kind of gauging. Are those artillery? Yep, definitely artillery. Oh, they're using their super bazookas. I don't think I templated any additional ammo for those, but oh my god, he just short. He is doing damage to him though. That was a great shot, but it's not enough to kill him. I'm gonna kill him off because that's pretty dope in all honesty. Hi, this is Liberator. This is hi, send message. Uh, I've armored myself into a Hesco. Can I get a TP out of it? Roger. Uh, can you pin yourself real quick so I can see where you are? I see you. Stand by. Thank you. <laughs> the genius. I have two guns, so I can be a little quicker with all that. How do you get yourself to cover? This one's gonna land on their perimeter. When the trenches take damage, they actually do uh, no. react to that, so. It's quite nice. Also, we have our tracer script going, which is pretty a okay. All units on Echo 2, be advised convoy is starting to deploy from the closest military base to your immediate west break. Uh, it appears that hostile forces are also using the river valley here to maneuver up from the south break. Uh, we'll probably have to fight through some pockets, but we're doing our best. Uh, ETA, I'm going to say roughly 20 to 30 minutes over. Oh. So yeah, I do like this AO because there's a lot of pockets I can spawn units in to immediately walk on top of them. Digging little uh, holes for themselves there. So he's covered himself in barbed wire. He's just trying to shoot at what he can. And they got the MGs up here. They're putting on the Heskos to fire. I debated remaking the Heskos in like sandbags and whatnot, but then I said, ah, screw it. I don't want to deal with that for every single AO, you know? All right, now here's what I'm going to do for this uh, AO here. I'm going to... Pretty much send them around this time so they don't have to go high. But then on the final marker, then we set them to seek and destroy. By the way, here are the two mortars I have set up, and then I got the uh, enemy commander for this attack right so there. Let's give him a warm welcome, shall we? That's why I always put things in debug because sometimes I forget what the uh, previous thing I had was. But yeah. These are some of the single unit kits. These are, that's a full squad. That's about a team. And then that's a three man sentry that, you know, I start with. But yeah, they'll get some fun toys for the uh, convoy around. So 
But yeah, sending some stuff through the open, I mean, that's the best I can do, but it gives them some easy targets to plank off. So yeah, enjoying how this is going so far. They are still taking hits, though. He's just fucking hiding underneath the metal. Yeah, you get them. Oh, fucking hell of British versus Zulu vibe, I mean, yeah. Helicopters will start coming up ASAP. And they might be able to start hearing them in just a moment. Just looking at the entryway right now. So here come the helis. The second one I am going to try to control manually. Sometimes yeah, it doesn't really like it. Kilo west. Someone get on the 20 or Skelly go fuck that up. Oh, it's fucked. Skelly, Skelly, hold fire, hold fire. Doc! Watch out. Enemy up. Oh! I need a medic by the end. That one landed on him. Immediately, the AA guns are starting to engage. Yeah, so a few people got pancaked here. Car 98 doing work. And that chopper's spinning out of control. We just auto rotate. Unfortunately, he's facing the wrong side, so I can't do anything. And then you got forces immediately running out of the perimeter and getting torn the fuck up. That's not really smart. Don't want to deploy the full squad just yet. We're going to wait on that. Someone just fell through the map. But yeah, this is just a standard. If you leave the perimeter, you're probably going to get shot to ship. But if you stay in the perimeter, you'll be fine. We got a big amount of these guys coming down. In a pinch, they can always use the AA gun for AOE, but they have very limited ammo for them, so they might just be saving them for the helicopter, which is the smartest bet. Ooh. Alright, I'm gonna desperately try to pull this guy south. But he is still firing down. You're seeing some occasional tracers, which is pretty funny. Alright, we're gonna mortar this area. We're going to do a few uh, elongated ranging shots and then eventually cover this uh, lower position down here. A little bit of smoke being thrown. You can hear some of that heavy fire, though, coming from something, I think, up the ridge. Not hearing a lot on 5-0, but I think that's just because they're uh, doing their best to coordinate everything locally. Just in case. Just slowly bringing this over. I'm 
Yeah, just as a precaution. This is Bravo, got contacts close to southwest within 50 meters. Alright, now it's a matter of how do I get this friendly convoy to start coming up here. Charlie is resupplying off the ammo dump before it gets destroyed by IDF. This is the road. Just trying to make sure I have enough space here. Some of these are custom comps. I attach some AA guns to them. That's going to be a long drive. Four of these, I'm going to make sure are uh, set to careless hold fire. And I'll call this in in a second, all right. Echo 2, be advised. Friendly forces have started entering the valley at this time. Break. Uh, ETA should be anywhere from 10 to 15 mics. Over. Good copy, 20 to 15. Be advised, they're coming up in four transport trucks uh, at this time. Over. Hi, this is Bravo. Says hi, send message, Bravo. Uh, can you find out where Risen is? He just disappeared when he tried to medic him. He's not on my interface, which means he's probably uh, somewhere in the base. Over. Copy. I just saw him. There he is. He's right there. All right. All right, let's go back to my debug. They did just shoot down the other uh, helicopter there. I'm trying to have these reinforcements come up. The rest of the vehicles I'll drag in accordingly. The rest of these attacks we're going to have come around. It's so always with a new campaign, I'm a little cautious about everything. I'm just trying to, like, feel everything out, see how things are going. And then, you know, from there, uh... Try to understand what causes what and why, you know? Because sometimes on the why, I, I don't understand. <laughs> How it could be happening, but you know, that's just how this game works sometimes. Alright, I'm gonna start deleting chunks of bodies that have uh, fallen over. We have a rolling helicopter wreck down there. I'll go ahead and remove that. I don't want to spawn anything on this angle, but they're moving out to loot bodies, so I don't really want to risk that. Probably grabbing AKs or something. Yep. All right, how are these trucks doing? They are struggling. They're honestly struggling, which makes sense. It's all uphill. It's going to take them a hot second. Now, I would love to get another pair going up here. Actually, no, I can't send them that way, otherwise they'll engage the trucks. Oh! 
Oop, he just disappeared. Okay. Interesting. Well, that's why I set the convoy to careless hold fire. So even then, like, they're not going to get spooked by stray bullets and stuff. Now, I also made sure for the guys with AKs, they only have a few magazines each. Because I knew the player base would start looting those immediately. Trying to get as much as they could out of them, so... You gotta get in your player base's head if they have a well, bolt action rifle. That tower. Good luck. And they see a 30 round automatic rifle. <laughs> what are they gonna grab? Been doing this for a long time. I know exactly what they're gonna grab. Now, if I want to be mean, I also do have a marksman kit somewhere over here. At least I think I do. And if I didn't copy it, that's okay, because I can just Stop add it, it to, uh... You can get me an angle? Where is it? My interface, but... Uh, thank you. Bombed again. Stop the helo to so. We are in literally... You are the best pilot ever. East, chopper. Yeah, well, that's done. that is high above the base if someone can engage that. We're not engaging that just yet. It's a bit too high up. Understood. Ooh, they tried putting a Willy Pete round at me. When is those QRF coming? You are taking a shot. There's that jet. They're still coming. It's a bit tough to get trucks up the hill. They're about halfway there. Over. <sighs> he didn't aggro on the infantry like I was hoping he would. Some of them are literally getting caught on rocks, that's why. You can always cheat. Remember, whatever the player base doesn't see, doesn't matter. So they're firing from long range there. Now, one more thing I am going to do is I am going to grab a PKM gunner. Actually, I can also grab AT. I can utilize anything, really. I know that valley is a tactical death trap. Isn't it lovely? <laughs> I got some list of drinking songs now. Do I hear drinking songs? Well, I think it is this. I'm pretty sure it also might, might as well be she shackle folk, folk music, so. Oh, fuck. Hi, yeah. Oh, time to hide again. 
No, it sounds like a rocket. We've got Rocky RRD coming in to direct these. Yeah, I hear rockets. It's the same thing. East. It's coming from the east. This is probably getting rocket out eat. Alright, that force is almost there. I can go remote control a PKM gunner. Actually, I only have an RPD. Did I bring the PKM yet? No, I did not. Okay. So if you notice, for a split second, they look like CSAT instead. That's because I used CSAT kits to copy-paste them. Southwest. Looks like a machine gun. Hit by machine gun north. Yeah, the one guy in the tree line. Oh, they're using the AA gun on me. Echo 2, this is high. Be advised, friendly convoy is within 100 meters of you to the west. Break. They're going to start parking their VIX and dismounting and moving in from your west. Break. You are to take their vehicles and are about to be reassigned. Over. Cool, we did. All right, now I'm going to move this baby up as well. Because I didn't trust the driving of that. And then I got one more thing I'm going to move up, which is you, because you're the respawn vehicle. Teams, be advised, uh, what came up was two transport trucks, two AA trucks, brake, an AA car, and a small truck that's used as a respawn vehicle. Brake, friendly forces are reporting they're starting to move up to your position. Uh, your new orders are as follows. Brake, take these trucks down the valley to, or brake, down this valley to the river valley. Uh, we're trying to pinpoint where the hostiles are staging from. Uh, they seem to have a lot of helicopters. So we're trying to figure out where in the AO that could be. If you have any suggestions, feel free to pass them up. Over. Cool with that. Uh, considering they're using helicopters, they'll probably have taken over a small airstrip or a strip of land. There's one airstrip south of Echo, that could be in use by the hostels. And that should be our first stop. I uh, recommend we use the roads because taking these uh, trucks up the ridges is probably going to get you the shittiest MPG ever. Over. Alright, I'm gonna have 
a few more Soviet spawns just to show that the attack isn't subsiding. All right, do we load up now then? Hi, or uh, ground? Sorry. Oh, they're looking for that one MG guy. That's cute. He only had like one belt left on him though, which is the really funny thing. But they're gonna make it up to his body. But yeah, I burned like all of his ammo because I know for a fact they're gonna try to go take that over. You know. How many people can fit in one of those trucks? We also still have trucks in the base. You can also use the trucks in base if you need to, but the four that were brought up should be sufficient break. Uh, some of the trucks are a little further down the road, about up to 50 meters, so just make sure you are aware of that break. And again, the one funny-looking truck that isn't actually what appears to be a military vehicle is your respawn, Vic, so just keep that in mind. Over. Okay, I'll play that. Ground's going to take that. Alpha, Bravo, you're grabbing way over. the truck, Which Charlie, you're go? grabbing the AA vehicles. I mean, they're so close to the machine gunner, too, but the gun is, uh... We are touching no, I think the machine gun rolled down somewhere because the guns will dynamically roll off the ridge. I just have no idea where it went. Let's put a few more out and around. One AA truck down the road to the northwest to get that. So you got the uh, jeep and the truck. We'll go. Yeah, I've actually got two AA trucks down the road. So this guy up on the, the ridge here. I hope these people get their orders soon, because, you know, everyone's starting to move to phase two. They all have short ranges. Oh, oh. I decided to be Alpha nice about Bravo, that. Your trucks. This hostel's coming up the road southwest. Push them back. I get on. All stations on this net. This is high as a debug note. If you're having trouble getting on the actual guns on the trucks, use Ace instead of the scroll wheel option. Uh, it, sometimes at certain angles, it can get a little finicky. Over. We'll go high. I forgot to mention that. Because I try to test every little thing I, you know, give to the player base these days. Just to make sure. But yeah, I do like how the AI have gotten in here. They're, you know, taking the ridges here. You guys are now, I think, engaging these guys on Charlie the side. Do you want Charlie AA vehicles to take lead once we get moving? No, Alvin's probably going to take lead. Hey, firm. Can, can we get a gun truck on point and get this road moving? They can't fire forward, can they? The small one can, the big one not so much. Okay, well, uh, first we deal with the contact on the road. <laughs> yeah, but this is probably one of the dumbest things I've made because, as you can see, when he's on it, he's off of the Vic. But, you know, it's, it's part of the fun. Charlie's truck will take rear of the convoy. Well, don't get kill retards now. There's infantry right in front of you, 50 meters. Yeah, so I guess Zeph is going to get super confused. Is he in his own team? No, he's part of a squad, so he's just not following orders, in which case, it sucks for him. Move your fucking asses. You can't call I'd, uh, I'll going to take one, one second. <laughs> Charlie will try and lead the convoy out. Jesus. Hold up, hold up. We're, we're yeah, clear, right? Alpha, Bravo, are you guys mounted up? Yeah, Alpha, we're we'll mounted up in a sec. Okay, very good. Alright, should be good. Should be in the keyword, right? 
This is Bravo, we're not mounted yet, we're just, uh, mounting up. Hey, whoever about. the hell's in the third A, Vic, watch out. Echo 2, that's what I'm gonna call your call sign now, break. Be advised, uh, convoy reported a few light squads of infantry about, uh, sentry size, break. Sorry, those two statements counter, uh, counterdict each other, be advised, break. There might be a Go. few infantry groups between you and down in the valley, so be careful. Uh, only three-man elements working together, so groups of three, six, or nine. How copy? <laughs> Completely Go. butchered that. Hey, right. Front of the convoy, people. If you get contact, uh, this man deal with it. After we clear the contact, man, back up. You can keep your drivers in the vehicles if it's just light. We'll keep moving, but let's not like drive through shit. That's very bad. All right, is the rest of the convoy moving then? Because Charlie's in front. Everyone's moving. Hey, firm. Yeah, okay, that is the interface I wanted. All right, cool. So he'll probably take a truck to go catch up, but he might also run out of radio range, but this firefight's gonna continue because we still have a chucklehead still back here. <laughs> I know. Thank you. Thank you, Az. The glitch is gone. I'm freed. I'm finally freed. Oh, God. Oh, that point man just got annihilated. On the road. We might need that for... Charlie's pushing through the ambush. Downhill's always fun, because then it's a lot quicker. But I hope you guys are enjoying this. It's satisfying for me, because again, I've had this campaign in mind for like two years, and we finally have the right uh, stuff to work it. Fucking Danny. I love him. We get down to the river, we're gonna reopen up the vehicles a bit better. Alright, real quick, I'm gonna spawn in two more of these. Now they're in vehicles, the choppers will have an easier time engaging. What's our time at? 54? All right, cool. Echo 2, this is high. New orders from the top. Uh, just because we're fearing everything south of a bridge located at Grid Ref 158069, which is where you'll be intersecting once you get down to the riverbed break. You are to dismount and start sweeping and clearing south from your position to this alleged airstrip. Over. You want us to go off road without that vehicle? Negative, That's negative. Vehicle. So once you get out of this valley, when you intersect with the MSR on the riverbed, uh, command is requesting you dismount your vehicles. Keep the armed ones, of course. But break. 
uh, basically just sweep as infantry from that position up to that airstrip because we're worried that hostiles are moving up the riverbed uh, north to hit the other position that the vehicles originally came from that you're currently using. Over. We want to make sure we don't get flanked after you take them out wherever they're coming from. On the ammo, that's the way we reach the river. Uh, not all the vehicles. Nice. We're gonna get one air vehicle to the squad. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What is this? <laughs> This mix back here. Charlie's A Vic has lost a wheel. We are going to fall back in the convoy. We can drag you if you want to. They can always drag. That is quite true. Almost at the MSO. All right, so everything in the route yep. now, I can go ahead and delete. And then those few remaining enemies up there, I'll go ahead and get rid of. Uh, but again, letting them play out because someone decided to stay up there. So it's like, okay. When it comes to stuff like that in my ops, I'm just like, yeah, uh, whatever. Bro, like, is, bro, keep it. Just to confirm again, uh, we're dismounting at the MSO, right? Yep. But yeah, I also fixed the tracer script, so now that's uh, all good to go. Now, the Soviets are only air assault right now, so it's only infantry and helicopters. Okay. Oh, that chopper's going down. Alpha's working on it. Okay. Bravo will acquire yourself an AA vehicle. Then push on the thanks for a 28 month resub. I hope we keep enjoying the operations. I do hope we get a nice kick out of the scenario. Uh, sweep on the river side, so nothing's on the water. So now it's just, uh, you know, fighting up the road here. Charlie Grand, once you're here and you have your air vehicle, start pushing along the road, just layering up and roaming it. Hey, firm, I'll send our second air vehicle with you. Uh, Take a picture, send it to me. Two, give one of the air vehicles to another school. Charlie is entirely mounted in AA VIX. Do you want us to change out with uh, another spot for infantry or just stick to the two AAs? One AA vehicle for squad would be fine. Understood. Did you die? No. Alright, this is a great opportunity, but I'm crippled. Ah, uh, and this guy's out of ammo. Whichever squad wants to aid, you can have it. It's okay, it's for you. Alpha's gonna take an AA vehicle. What? <laughs> no, I'm supposed to give it to you and you're supposed to explode, not ah. Uh... Yep, Alpha Bravo. Clearing uh... the shit right next to the river. Charlie will keep clearing the stuff on the main road. <laughs> well, apparently that Alpha grenade was a dud, but it was enough to kill me. So, I don't know. Delta to Charlie. I don't know. Well, we have a Delta. You've had a Delta. You've been ignoring me every time I've tried to say something. <laughs> well, probably because I haven't heard. That's the first time I'm hearing Delta. If we have a Delta, you're going to be clearing with Charlie on the main route. Yeah, I was about to call that until Charlie. Hey, okay. will be your infantry screen. Let's kill you off. So we can go and respawn. All right. And then I can get rid of this and we can, you know, maintain server resources elsewhere.
If he respawns back at the base, I'm gonna strangle him. Oh my god. No. No. Hey, 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 hey. Respawn at the other place. This part of the AO is done. Zeph. I give up. Okay. His T-Far is not even working, which is against our rules, technically. So it prevents issues like this, but... It says he's in the T-Far channel, but yeah, he's just not speaking. But, oh well. I gotta focus on the guys playing the op, not people that have busted stuff. Speaking of... I'm not gonna type it, because everyone else is gonna see that, and I don't feel like typing that. Some minor scuffles here. I'm gonna say a group cross the road or the river. Excuse me. I'll put them on the edge there. Yeah, it's a fighting all the way up to there. So we're also gonna put another uh, team right here. And once they start, you know, climbing up this last ridge, then I'll start spawning the squads and having the squads come down. That they're still engaging what's up here. They're picking off what they can. So yeah, I'd say we have another 30, 40 minutes of op time left for this scenario, which is great. Yeah, so Macmarine, this is... Oh gosh, and he has his little spice and wolf thing on it. But yeah, this is the respawn Vic, and you can spawn in the back of it too, so just in case anyone dies. Alright, looks like they're skirmishing. So the marksman, they have a little scope right there. He just got shot. Amazing. Am I shooting in between the fucking legs? Yes, you can land shots in between people's legs. That's also pretty damn funny, in my opinion. But again, we're just giving them a little bit of resistance for them to push through at this point. Wow, so reasonable. Like, do you want the? Do you want it? <laughs> Cover it up. <laughs> He's too dangerous to be left exposed. Oh, they're sitting in the damn Erica san Trees of physics don't throw grenades at trees. Especially the bushy bit. So Skelly's still leading yeah, over here. Really He's getting some grenades out there. Sparkles getting, getting left behind here. Uh, on the northeast side of the road. All right, so now here's part of the fun. I'm going to send... Delta copies, Charlie. It seems like you guys got them for now. These are part of the transport choppers. It's just me sending them to alternate parts because, again, I got a lot more templated. Real quick, let me go back. Again, they're almost there. This is Bravo. Three helis, uh, southeast. Just let them know they're on the right track, you know? Uh, yeah, two choppers. Three. 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 
three choppers. Uh, uh, uh. Jesus. Oh, they're taking fire from their rear over here. All right, let's see. Bodies, they've uh, worked past. Yep, we go ahead and get rid of that. High commando is echo. This is high, send message. We just spotted three times helicopters from the south heading towards the uh, base at the river. Roger, I will alert them. Uh, for now, let them go. We'll let their AA defense take care of it. Break. Uh, if you saw where they were coming from, that might be a good indication of where their base is at this time. Over. Copy that. Probably came from the airfield we were looking at. Oh, it's further down south. Roger. Uh, then proceed there. Let's uh, see if we can hit their staging area. Over. They go back to get the car, yes they did, because I think the truck's out of ammo. This is Bravo, uh, we spotted a checkpoint, we're weaving through the buildings to, uh, to the checkpoint and uh, deal with it. Reeds. Uh, ground this is Bravo, AA, Vic, oh, AA truck is out of ammo at this time. Charlie has reacquired its AA Jeep as our AA truck ran out of ammo as well. Okay, um, save what we have for the helicopter stuff. Just keep the vehicle in reserve, you can keep just the driver in or something. Now we're just going to start doing squads to give them AT and AA cap uh, or RP, ah, yeah. how'd I put it? Basically to give them the uh, RPG and that RPD. So they can use uh, that as a as well. Bravo. Uh, one of my men lied to me. Uh, it's not a checkpoint. They say to keep it, and yet we hear that going off. Trot, you guys, if you're using the air vehicle, you just you have 20 mm. You don't need to hold the trigger down if you're even low on ammo. <laughs> ah, it's fine. I'm sure there won't be any more helicopters. Ah, what would it be then? Keep that up there. I'm gonna send one more down. And then I got one more in reserve that I could potentially send. Uh, I don't really have a good angle to spawn them, but I can put them in the middle of those bushes and that'll work fine. Again, I'm really working on my defilade placement here. Chopper. Uh, easy. Now, let's see. By now, I can get rid of these. Yeah, it looks like Zafi finally noticed something was up. Which means I can start deleting the bodies back here. Bravo squad has made it to the waypoint. They're taking the left right now, going up to, to the house. Uh, let's push. Uh, we're going off east. Timmy actually starts behaving properly. the dead AI back here, because again, I want to keep frames as immaculate as I can here. Southeast and southeast. I think that was a miss pain. Looks like you got one of the RPDs, oh, though. The yep. Okay, we're doing this, though. <laughs> the 
<laughs> playing the SOG music from the uh, from the DLC in that Vic. It's pretty funny. I'm gonna try to take off the last one manually. Got Spooky and Mac Marine back there as ground command. Let's see what time is it. 1.11 in terms of op time, all right. Oh, we're stationary. Oh, let's keep moving since the healer's fucking looking at me. Yeah, that's no, not possible right now. Yes! Finally gave me the option to engage. Um, oh, Only we hadn't wasted all that AA ammo. Oh, oh dear. How could this happen? Germ is not having enough AA. Who would have guessed? It's easy fucking bazooka at this point. Jesus Christ, he's just hovering them. Okay, start pushing. Oh, he's coming close. My AA is going to fire on him. Push. Mr. Pilot, you really got to learn how to position my gun properly, sir. You're killing me, Smalls. Chopper's coming in. Alright, so they're pushing up the road. To the bright side, there's Strella's at uh, where they're going, so they can at least shoot anything down that uh, you know stays there. But I'm gonna keep a few grounded on purpose because that's gonna serve as a basis for them to acquire their own helicopter technology, because the helicopter assets are very limited. Bravo, on the roof, uh, using the, uh, what the, the yeah, hell are they playing? But yeah, I'm setting this up. To be a bit of a slog going uphill. It's going good, bad company. It's going good. We don't have any Dragonovs in the mod set. I actually noticed that, so I've just been using SKSs with scopes instead for uh, Op 4 Marksman. <laughs> SKSs are quite nice. Now they're going to have to fight up this ridge here. I got multiple squads of enemies. They've also got some uh, pretty nasty guns with them. More enemies. Well, squad one on here. Nelly coming in with the ball. I need that rocket. Oh, fuck. I think we keep moving or die for Right now. Oh, there's people with rockets. Uh, straight. So they're calling out the rockets. There's a lot of cover they can keep moving from cover to cover here. I can keep harassing them. Ooh, they just shot him. <laughs> that knocked me right out of it.
Oh, this group's getting very close. Here, I'm gonna get on that pilot. See if I can do an airstrike here. And I'm not trying to wipe them, but I am definitely trying to spook the shit out of them. I want that. It sounds like they're having fun over it, though. That's the most important part. In any Arma scenarios, to make sure your player base has fun. Nothing like a little bit of harassment to get the blood flowing. Yeah, right? And they're still taking casualties that they're, you know, forced to get everything going with here. By the way, guys, if your vehicles don't have any ammo, you can take a Yeah, most of them have all picked up, like, SKSs and enemy weapons at this point. But the whole point is eventually the car 98s will be replaced with SKSs uh, on the uh, German side. So this is meant to be the incredibly tough ridge battle, and they're uh, slowly making it over, so. You're hearing rockets going in the air as well. As I think they're trying to shoot down that one helicopter remaining. All right, now we're going to start prepping the next attack here. Not giving them a lot of room to breathe. Because it's still a Liru op, and I do love my ops to be target-rich environments. And we still got the PKT off of that helicopter firing down where it can as well. No, I'm going to try to let them keep the MP40s and the STG44s at least. Because those are fun guns. But the reason we can hear them is because all the uh, Soviets have short range radios too, and I don't have radio encryption on. Yeah. So every time we RC something, because we have all the radios preset, uh, all radios are preset to 60 on their first channel, 70 to the second channel, so Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Echo accordingly. But we're basically hearing the uh, first squad, Alpha squad, speak. Yeah, again, you're still seeing tracers coming down. They're firing PKM rounds at uh, this group here. Now, one additional cool thing to note is I do have a Dishka up here. And this Dishka plays no games. It is strictly a business, Dishka. All right, let's go ahead and delete more of the bodies that are behind them here. Again, trying to keep the server as optimized as I can. Our one friend has almost made it down. Yeah. 
I still love how they're playing the damn music. I'm gonna get on the dishka again. Echo 2, this is high. I'm just requesting a radio check. How are you guys doing? Over. We are slowly pushing towards the airfield. Contact seems to be getting strong, so I'm probably. Nah. Probably this area, yeah, where the staging point is. Hey, firm. Continue on. Keep me informed if you run into anything else. Over. Copy. I do have that mortar I can still be using. Got him with a burst. Hey, Rob, so that was the idea. Everyone did play with that. Delta 2, other squads, I have on one kind of man, MG, Hilltop, Barrett. my IDF, but you get the point. I'm trying to keep the Vic back there, but they're under fire from uh, infantry on that side. Now, one thing I do want to do is I want to grab this one guy and put him um, on that gun. What I got, if you guys want a bit of a on as I'm getting up that hill or I'll, unless you've already taken the trench it's the green or the blue line they're continuing their assault quad barrel front line lock yeah right I mean there are quad 50s in this mod set and we'll eventually use them anyone still alive that is Delta Cap is we're pushing the hill brothers still alive the bodies behind them scattered across a little bit yeah, Charlie's a bit scattered. Uh, we're a bit northeast of the trench line. Okay, well, let me know when you've got them. Ground command's getting harassed by remnants there. Ooh, excuse me. I've never played Vermin's Head 2 now. But I love how this op's going on and chat's all talking about freaking uh, <laughs> guns and whatnot. All right, here. Let's squad southeast. Just to get back on that gun. I 
I also love how we're all called Habibi. Should have saved air, brought their AA statics that they had at base. But yeah, no, the main detriment too is after they were told to save that AA ammo, the guy on the gun for the AA then started immediately using it on infantry. So I'm trying to have these guys now slowly move up. I'm just trying to get the remaining forces out of here. I think they just sniped the pilot out of that helicopter, actually. Tuck away when I can. Ooh, Strella ain't one of them. The rest of them are fighting across the uh, remaining dudes right there. You got Silent up here looting more RPD belts. And that one was finally shot down by Estrella as well, because those Estrellas I did make reloadable. Don't destroy the fucking helicopters. We can yank them. Have you got taken in the trench? Uh, the MP is still good to use. Can, use the shoot at, uh, can you see the airfield already? We are on the airfield. Right out, Devour. I know you're back now after your assignment. Hope you're okay, and uh, can't wait to see what you come up with later. Okay. What's next time I'm going to know? D sync. I see. D sync. Stand by. Ah, this, this, oh. Oh, wow. Hmm. Oh well, I mean, uh, I'm trying to determine if that was just a network thing or if the server just ate shit, you know what I mean? I honestly don't know. Uh, this was the end of it though, so that's a shame, but uh, I think that's going to be it since the server I think just died to a freaking crash of some sort. Yeah, it's just gone.
Weird. Uh, Lear, clarification. Are you calling Index? Yeah, we're gonna have to call Index here. No. All right. I want to come back to sit. I'm All right, well, so uh, I will say, like, that was the final five minutes of just taking that airfield, so I do apologize how that crash happened. I'll look into it. I don't think it was because of a DOS issue or whatnot. Uh, I will look at the network logs just in case, but um, I think it was just because I, I noticed with the other one it was when the MI2 exploded, so it might just be a weird referencing error, but I'll... I'll ask the uh, SOG community if they can collaborate any of that or cooperate. You know what C word I'm looking for. I can't English for shit. But um, hope you enjoyed that operation. Uh, I'm, yeah, funny, Skelly. Um, I did my best to scale things over. I knew there would be weapon looting. Um, just, I guess, the only two things of criticism I have is, number one, um, just remember, have your TFAR on. Uh, there was someone that crawled onto a tower at the FOB and then got left behind because he... I get, don't think he had his Steve on because I tried talking to him and he wouldn't reply to me. Uh, so, again, the reason why we have that as a rule is so you don't get left behind because everyone else was getting a move on and they spent the second half of the op just kind of walking down the road trying to follow people's markers. So, I'm not going to help you. You should just have your damn TFAR on because that's everyone else was going. I'm not going to cater to the one person that's, you know, lagging behind. Uh, second... Uh, especially if you're ordered to conserve your AA ammo, conserve your AA ammo. Uh, you got hung up on the last helicopter because no one had anything way to deal with it. And that would have been literally the last helicopter. But you use the rest of your AA ammo on infantry instead of that one Vic. So it started harassing you for the rest of the op. Um, so, you know, keep that in mind when you're, especially when you're giving an order on 5-0, make sure you pass it to everyone. Because, you know, so that chucklehead might be in your squad that then burns the rest of it on the uh, squad. Uh, one debug thing I will note for myself, which I'll put down on uh, the feedback first thing, is I didn't have any rearm for the uh, super bazookas. I will make sure that is amended. Uh, also, as we go through this campaign, weapon technology will get slightly better. So now that we, um, you know, understanding, how would I put it? I'm assuming you would have kept one of the MI2s alive because there were like five grounded that were unable to take off. Uh, so now, as you know, we get to probably mission three, uh, Germans will probably have MI2s. Uh, a lot of enemy weapons were captured, so now we're going to quickly reverse engineer and develop those weapons and get them passed out to the infantry. What you do in this campaign will push future missions uh, or influence future missions. Now, do note, though, you're going to be playing across all three sides, so if you try your best to super gear everything, uh, this will end with the U you'll the last faction you'll play as is the U.S., I will say that. So if I see a bunch of German players in the beginning of the campaign picking up SKSs, RPDs, PKPs, all that fun stuff, that means the Germans now have it, which means the Germans at the end of the campaign are going to be m that much harder to fight. So keep that in mind. Any actions and influences you do in the beginning are going to make it a lot harder for you in the end because I'm trying to come up with creative ways to say, hey, maybe don't pick up every enemy weapon that you find. So. Okay, then. Uh, the Germans have no AA because they've used all the ammunition up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're right. They did for those four vehicles, and they still had some at base, and there's still 20 other bases they can get more of, Skelly. But thank you for pointing that out. I'm sure by the next mission, they'll make some more ammunition anyway because none of your Vicks were destroyed. Uh, the car was severely damaged, but it's still recoverable. Wink. Anyway. Somehow. Um... Quick note also, IDF is also technically anything that gets launched in the air. So rockets landing on you would also be considered IDF. Fun fact. If you want to say mortars, say mortars. Um, but I had a mix of both ID, uh, mortars and rockets firing at you. See, I almost made that mistake too. But otherwise, uh, that is it. I will now give it to command and then squad leaders. I'd also like to thank my friend Spooky from uh, coming over from the SOG stuff that we do on Sundays. He's uh, part of that team. Uh, hope you had fun. If you Howdy. didn't, please uh, yell at me. Otherwise, Macmarine, take it away. I will now put up feedback for the uh, operation in the feedback channel. It was operation. Uh, didn't really need to do much. Very simple premise. Move down the road. Split the air vehicles within the squads. Uh, unfortunately, most of the ammo was wasted on infantry in way too big bursts. And that's about it. Uh, and in the end... When you guys like got on the airfield and took the trench line, uh, information would have been nice. 
to trip down to the command vehicles as we're still sitting down the hill defending against the small squad advancing on us. But that's it. I Over. Cool. I'm going to wrap it up Over here because I don't want to stream the um, new team speak. So thank you so much for watching. Go on, Operate Operation. Don't waste like, fucking any day or night. Cheers. If I see that. And have a good one. Done. Next time.